Even so, this is no 911. Whereas the sports cars and hatchbacks wearing the Porsche crest can deliver transcendent driving experiences, the Macan S must settle for simple excellence. The steering is quick and accurate and tracks straight, but it lacks the reassuring heft and propensity for useful feedback that we associate with Porsche. The brakes are strong and linear, stopping the Macan from 70 miles per hour in 160 feet in our tests but the pedals travel is longer than in the best examples from this brand, and not as pleasingly firm. The PDK dual-clutch transmission shuffles through gears with such cleverness that the standard paddle shifters are rendered largely superfluous, but it can't completely hide the reality that this twin-turbo engine needs to be coaxed above 4,000 revolutions per minute to feel most responsive, a region of the tachometer that few crossover drivers ever visit. Room for flotsam and jetsam. Just as Ariel sold her voice to the Sea Witch in pursuit of true love, Porsche has made compromises in the name of huge sales figures. In the bargain, buyers get four doors, a useful, if small for the class, cargo area, and the flexibility to carry any combination of adult passengers, pets, and youngsters in child seats. The ride is more compliant than the average Porsches, too so both Fido and Junior will snooze happily even over blighted road surfaces. Our grievances with the Macanesta